Hey guys, check out these pedals. They light up white in the front and red in the back. What's going on everyone? Today we're taking a look at a set of light up pedals from Redshift. These are called the Redshift Arclight pedals and I'm also going to be checking out the Redshift Arclight. Basically it's like a handlebar light or a rear tail light, whatever you want to use it for. Redshift did reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to check out a set of these and share them with my audience. And when I looked up the specs and features on these things, I was like, absolutely, because I love things that help you be more seen when you're riding on those backcountry roads like I do because drivers just don't pay attention and it sometimes it gets a little bit hairy on those back roads. So what's awesome about these pedals is that there is two lights in the pedals and they sense, they're pretty much like smart lights, they sense which way is forward and they automatically make the light in the front white and the light in the back red. So you don't have to worry about which way the pedal is orientated when you get on it to start riding. It just automatically knows and switches it to make the white one in the front and the red one in the rear. You can see no matter how I turn these pedals that it's gonna put the white one in the front and the red one in the rear. And same thing on the light up front. If you were to flip this over and mount it the other way, it would then be red. Now you can change that by uh, flipping over the magnet in the light and make it do opposite of whatever it's doing if you need to. So if you were to mount it on your seat post in the back and it was you slide it down in and it's white, you could flip that magnet around in that mount and then it would be red. And ultimately you want the one in the back to be red. So a few other features on these pedals is that if they sit for 30 seconds, they will go into a sleep mode automatically. And then if you just bump them slightly, they will come back on. Now after three minutes of them not sensing movement, they'll go into a deeper sleep state and you will have to move them a little bit harder to get them to turn back on. And then after 24 hours, they will shut off to save power. So that's pretty awesome that they have those features. That'll prevent you from forgetting to turn them off and will save you the hassle. If you were to park your bike, you don't have to turn them on and off constantly. You can just turn them on at the beginning of your ride and you're good to go. So you can see there they shut off. It's been 30 seconds. And if they sense slight movement like that, they will turn back on. And you see the one up there turn back on too, just from that little bit of movement. So very awesome. So to charge these things, basically you get two lights per pedal and the pedals, the lights slide right out. They stick in there with pretty strong magnets and they do give you a four port charger. They're just USB. You can plug these into any USB port or you can plug them into this four port charger here and charge all four of them up at one time. And then when you're ready to go, you just take them out, pop them right in, they're magnetic, turn the lights on, and they will remember what the last setting you had them turned on to was, and you're ready to ride. And like I said, you don't, don't have to worry about which way they are when you turn them on. They will know to make the one in the front white and the one in the rear red. So now if you guys seen a lot of my other videos, you know that I love the Redshift suspension seat post. It's my favorite post. Um, I used to use the Zoom suspension seat post, which I still do sometimes on some of my other bikes. But after I tried this one out, I try to use this one every ride I go on because it's just a lot more comfortable. I'll leave a link down in the description for this as well. I believe it's around $230 or $240 for the seat post. Um, very easily adjustable on the bottom, which is pretty cool you just turn this on the bottom here and adjust your tension and then if you're a heavier rider they do include a heavier spring to put in here which allows it to be a little bit more stiff so this, this seat post is really good for heavier riders and then all you have to do is get the correct shim this is a 27.2 millimeter seat post you just get the correct shim that you need for your bike and you're able to install it pretty much in any bike that takes a 27.2 or higher seat post and I know this was about the pedals, guys, but I'm just going to show you here real quick. So what's awesome about this post is that when it goes down, it goes back. And it just makes it a lot more, a lot more comfortable than just going straight down in like the Zoom post does. And one more thing I'll show you guys that I got on this Magic Cycle bike here is a cheap $18 alarm, which I highly recommend. It's a motion alarm. If your bike gets bumped, it will go off. So for $18, bucks, you can not beat it. It's super loud. You just set it and then... You'll hear it beep, that means it's armed. And then if somebody bumps your bike, it may deter somebody from trying to steal it because it's gonna go off very, very loudly. And I have this in my other accessory videos. So if you guys wanna see more about it, make sure you guys check those out. Actually, I think in one of my accessory videos, I have a horn alarm that I use on that bike. So for 18 bucks or so, 
you can't beat this. Um, I have one of these on almost every one of my bikes. And if I grab a different bike and take it out, I just take the alarm off one of my other ones. It's very easy to install with zip ties. Um, I have this one actually hidden underneath the rear rack on the Magicycle so nobody can see it. But super loud. You can see here, if you bump it, it will warn you. Sorry guys, that was probably pretty loud. And then if you bump it again within so many seconds, it will go off. Just like a car alarm, it goes through all the different tones, but can't beat that. Um, anyway guys, let's get back to these pedals. If, if you want to... Let me disarm that first. <laughs> so if you want to... Um, if you, if you do pick up one of those alarms and use the link below, it will be an affiliate link on Amazon. If you guys use any of my Amazon links, they are affiliate links and I will make a small commission, which is what helps support this channel. And I just want to thank you guys ahead of time if you do use that link and thanks for your support. But I will leave a link down here to these pedals as well. They are only currently on their website. It is not an affiliate link. I will not make a commission on them if you do use the link on their website as of now. I don't even know if they have an affiliate program. I'll have to check that out. So maybe in the future it will be an affiliate link, but as of now it is not. And if it does become one, I'll make sure that I disclose that information down below in the description of this video. But I'll leave the link for that. For these, sometimes they have some pretty good sales on their website. So make sure you guys keep an eye out if you are considering getting some of these. And let me show you this light real quick up front. These pedals are about 140 bucks and these lights are 40 bucks a piece. They're the same lights that go in the pedals and they come with this mount that you can put on here with either zip ties or they give you this little rubber ring that you can wrap it around. So you can put it either on a seat post, on a bar. I mean, I could put it here. I mean, you could pretty much put them anywhere you want and you could buy just the mount for $15 or you can buy just the light for $30 or you could buy the light and the mount as a unit like this for $40. And then, like I said, the pedal, which includes four of the lights are $140. And that's the current price as of me f filming this video. So let me know down below if you think this is worth it. I do, I think it's well worth the money. I think they're pretty cool and definitely gonna help you with safety at night or even during the day. That's what's awesome guys. The lights shine either in front in the rear and out from the side too. So that's nice as well that drivers from the sides can see you not just from the front and the back. So pretty nice design here. So make sure you guys leave a comment below. It really helps support the channel. It really helps YouTube recommend my video to more people it, the more that you guys engage with my content. So I appreciate all of you watching. Appreciate your comments. Let me know down below if you think these are gonna be right for you. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys around on the next one. And I'm probably gonna be doing an updated accessory video here in the future. These are definitely gonna be going on it for sure because they are now my favorite pedals. So thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate y'all and I will see you around on the next one.